guys, welcome to our channel Forensic Genesis, Crime Scene Investigation Lecture 2. As you all know, we are diving in the subject called Crime Scene Investigation. We have covered the introduction to Crime Scene, its classification and the processing of Crime Scene up till the recording. Now, we will continue to the last step of processing that is the collection of evidence. So firstly, what is evidence? According to Section 3, Indian Evidence Act 1872, evidence means and include all statements which the court permits or requires to be made before it by witnesses in relation to matters of fact, such under inquiry, such statements are called oral evidence. All documents including electronic records produced for the inspection of the court, such documents are called documentary evidence. In simpler words, we can say that anything which helps us to know about the crime. This takes us to the next thing that is the importance of evidence. It links the crime, suspect and witness. It is the only thing that has the capability to prove that a crime has happened. In technical term, we call it corpus delicti. Also, the modus operandi, literal meaning method of operation. It can be determined by evidence only. Let me explain this with an example. A rape case happened. Person A raped person B and murdered him or her at the spot and destroyed the body. Person C saw person A in the act of rape. Now, during the investigation, person C gave statement as witness that he saw person A doing rape. But the murder charges can only be applicable if condition 1 and evidence like the murder, body, the murder weapon, body, etc. of person B's is found. Condition 2. If person A confesses that he or she murdered person B. This proves our all three points link between crime witness and suspect, corpus delicti and modus operandi. Types of evidence, physical evidences and testimonial evidences. There are numerous classification of evidences based on size, location, type, etc. But we majorly classify them as physical and testimonial for our convenience. If you notice in our previous example, the first evidence was the testimony given by person C. This kind of evidence is known as testimonial evidence. Now, if we consider the two conditions, First was based on evidence like the body, the murder weapon, etc. This is known as the physical evidence. And the second condition was again based on the testimonial evidence. So anything which is a link between the aforesaid things and has a physical existence. It is called as physical evidence and the statements made by the either witness, victim or culprit which links them to the crime scene is called as the testimonial evidence. Let's talk about the physical evidences now because that's the part we as a forensic scientist have to work on. You all know anything can be a physical evidence ranging from microscopic pollens to as big as a rifle. We at the crime scene can only collect things we suspect on and an analysis can only prove that whether it is an evidence or not. There are some search patterns we rely based on the area and manpower you have. They are line pattern, grid pattern, quadrant or zonal pattern, wheel or ray method, concentric pattern and spiral pattern. In line pattern, either officials stand sideways on a one arm distance and cover the area in a straight line or one or two person can cover the whole area by taking a U-turn at the end of one line. And the same thing goes for the grid pattern also. Now we come to the quadrant or zonal method. The area is divided into four parts and then each area is divided into four subparts. Each subpart is given to a single individual to search. The wheel or ray pattern is the most common one and effective in larger areas. Individuals stand at a point and move in several different directions. 
in concentric pattern a circular area is searched then we move radially and cover another circle and so on this spiral pattern can be of two types inward spiral and outward spiral in inward we move towards the center of the spiral as opposed to the outward in which we move towards the end of the spiral collection and packaging of physical evidences blood fingerprints footprints soil and dust saliva semen etc the collection and packing of physical evidences is most crucial and tricky part as it can determine the quality of analysis and the way of collection largely depend on amount and state of evidences you will find like blood it can be in dry state liquid state a drop of blood a pool of blood and also the blood spatters and you can't collect all of them with the same technique likewise the fingerprints they can be latent that means invisible patent visible or also the plastic ones the depressed prints like you find on the mud we will study the collection of each kind of evidence in detail when the relative subject comes forwarding of physical evidences forwarding note authority letter forwarding letter and chain of custody forwarding note is attached with each evidence giving complete information in short like the fir number case number type of evidence police station name io name etc authority letter is given by an io to the director of fsl in which he basically gives the authority to the lab to open the envelope and analyze the evidence forwarding letter is given with the whole lot of evidence like if io found seven evidence at a single scene of crime so he will give a forwarding letter which describes all the evidence and the questions to be answered in the analysis chain of custody chain of custody is maintained by the io and also the fss disposal or storage of physical evidences the io is the main in charge of the evidence and transports them from crime scene to courts and fsl the evidence storage is sole responsibility of io in storage rooms and can be disposed of only in the condition when the judgment is passed or the evidence is becoming a biological hazard or the evidence is degraded to an extent that no analysis can be performed thank you for watching the video like share and subscribe don't forget to press the bell icon we welcome your questions and suggestions in our comment section forensify your life with forensic genesis